When you're ready, let's begin in a seated position on our mats. Traditional Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Just cross at your ankles and sit up tall. Gently lower your chin down towards your chest, observing any new sensation in the body. And slowly rock your head side to side. Finding any areas that could use a little extra breath, a little extra movement. Now draw your chin back to center and place your hands on your knees. For a seated cow pose, pull your heart forward and lift your chin up. Take a big breath in. Exhale for seated cat, round your chest, tuck your chin. Inhale to seated cow, pull your heart forward, lift your chin up. Exhale to seated cat, round your spine, tuck your chin. One more time, inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Come back up to a neutral spine and place your hands out by your sides, fingertips barely touching the ground. Now reach your right arm up towards the ceiling as you lower your left palm down to the ground lengthening out your whole right side body. Keep your right sits bone grounding down as you reach up through your right fingertips, even arcing over to the left just slightly. Inhale. Exhale, come back to center. And then switch sides. Left arm reaches up and overhead, but keep your left sits bone grounding the whole time. Lengthen through your whole left side. Inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Then inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, left arm reaches over, big reach. Exhale, come back to center. Just one more time, right side. Exhale, back to center, then left side. Exhale, back to center. Rest your hands in your lap and just shrug your shoulders up to your ears, then down your back for a couple of shoulder rolls. Get the whole shoulder girdle involved as much as you can, taking nice big circles. Great. Now interlace your hands behind your lower back and take both hands to your left side body, wrapping your right arm around behind you and your left elbow will poke out from your side. Take a big inhale to sit up tall. Then exhale, lower your left ear down to your left shoulder and you should feel quite an opening in your right trap. See if you can relax a little further. Three, two, one. Draw your chin back up to center. Take your hands to your right side body, right elbow poking out from your side. Big inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, lower your right ear to your right shoulder. Even moving your chin just slightly to find the right spot for you, the area that you can breathe into. Three, two, one. Draw your chin back up to center. Release your hands. Keep your legs as they are. Walk your hands out in front of you. Take an inhale, finding a long flat back. Then exhale, hinge from your hips and slowly fold forward. about three smooth deep breaths each exhale an opportunity to fold deeper
and slowly rise. Unravel your legs, plant your feet out in front of you, plant your hands behind you, reverse tabletop. Legs engage, so your knees are pressing forward. Hips are in line between your knees and your shoulders. Try lifting them a little higher. Breathe deep into your whole torso and feel everything engaged. And then gently take a seat, roll over your ankles, and make your way to downward facing dog. With your hands planted firmly into the mat, grip through your fingers and feel your arms get stronger. Reach your hips high and back in this down dog. Pedal out your legs or wag your hips side to side as you press your chest towards your thighs, creating even more length in your spine. Allow your neck to relax so your gaze just rests between your ankles. Then take a walk to the top of your mat for a ragdoll pose. With your feet a little wider than hip distance, a gentle bend in both knees, hinge deep from your hips to fold over your legs. If it feels good, you can grab onto your elbows and just sway side to side. Big or little movements doesn't matter. Release your elbows. Toe heel your feet together to touch. Give a generous bend to your knees, tuck your chin, pull your lower belly in, and slowly unroll all the way up to standing. And when you come all the way up, feel free to shrug your shoulders, then meet me in Samastitihi. With your hands together at heart center, weight anchored down evenly through all the edges of your feet. Stand tall through the crown of your head, and with a very soft gaze, take a big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, just let it go. Then reach your arms overhead for a mountain pose. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips as you fold all the way down. Find halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins until you can find a long, flat back lengthening out through the crown of your head. Inhale. Then forward fold and step your left foot back into a low lunge. Take a nice long stance between your feet so that your right ankle is directly above your right knee. Lower your back knee down to the mat and reach your arms up for crescent moon. You're always welcome to take your hands to your front knee or even down onto the mat as a modification if this is a bit intense on your left hip flexor. Wherever you are though, engage your legs as if you were trying to pull your right heel and your left knee towards each other. Instead of dumping into your hips, engaging your legs like this in this posture will allow you to go further and deeper while protecting your lower back. Breathe into everything that you feel. Smooth inhale through your nose. Long exhale through your nose. Big breath in, big breath out. Now bring your hands together at heart center and inhale to lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. Exhale, twist to your right. Hook your left elbow outside of your right knee and continue to lengthen your spine on your inhales. Pull your belly off your thigh and twist a little bit deeper on your exhales. Lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. For three, two, one. Lower your left hand down onto the mat inside of your left ankle. Now reach back with your right hand to grab onto your back ankle for a big quad opener. Even if your hand's not grabbing onto your ankle, just by reaching, you're gaining the benefits of this pose, lengthening through your left hip flexor, opening through your chest. Take about two more big breaths.
then release your back ankle and lower both hands down to your mat as you shift your hips back for a Hanumanasana prep. With your weight on your back knee and your right leg straight out in front of you, first make sure that you have a long spine, you're not crunching at your lower back. So inhale to lengthen out of your hips, find your flat back here, then exhale to hinge from your hips, folding your body forward and take about five deep breaths within this pose, taking those little micro adjustments with each breath. Inhales lengthen, exhales deepen. Shoulders stay soft, jaw stays relaxed. Right toes flexing back, even engage your right quad. Ooh, I bet you feel that. Almost there. Great. Walk your hands forward, bending your right knee. Lift your back knee up off the mat and spin your back heel down, setting up warrior two. Rise and reach your arms front and back. Sink nice and deep into your hips, but make sure that your right knee is tracking open. Lower abs are engaged, so your belly is pulling in and your shoulders are soft, even though your arms are strong. For extended side angle, place your right forearm on your right thigh and reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Even though we're modifying with your forearm on your thigh, don't dump all your weight into your arm. Use your core so that there's a lightness in your right forearm. And make sure your chest stays open, no curling or caving forward. And reach your left arm overhead, taking about three deep breaths into this long side body reach. And with your strong core, slowly rise for reverse triangle. Straighten out both legs as you reach your right arm overhead. Big breath in. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to the mat and step your left foot forward into a forward fold, top of the mat. Find halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, step your right foot back. Nice long stance between your feet, lower your back knee down, make your way to crescent moon, arms reach up. If you modified on the other side, make sure you do so here. Remember to engage your legs, drawing your front heel back, your back knee forward. Slight engagement in your lower belly allows you to lift out of your hips, creating even more length in this pose. And similar to mountain pose, even though your arms are reaching up, your shoulders stay soft, lengthen through the crown of your head. Find your breath in and out through your nose. Big inhale, big exhale. Bring your hands together at heart center. Inhale, lengthen, lift your heart up to your thumbs. Exhale, twist to your left. Hook your right elbow outside of your left knee Inhale to pull your belly off your thigh, lengthen even more. Exhale to twist even deeper, bringing your thumbs closer to heart center, your heart center closer to your thumbs. Keep breathing within your twist for three, two, one. Lower your right hand down to the mat and reach your left hand back for your quad opener. grabbing onto your ankle or your toes or even just reaching. Make sure that your shoulders are nice and open because this is still a twist in your upper body. Make sure your breath is smooth and deep. Even the muscles in your face are soft. For about two more deep breaths. and gently release. With your hands planted on both sides of your front leg, shift your hips back for Hanumanasana prep. Weight on your back knee, front leg nice and straight, left toes flexing back. First, find your flat back within this pose. So inhale to lengthen out of your hips and press your heart forward. Then exhale to hinge from your hips, folding over your leg. Inhales find length, exhales find depth. For a few more smooth, deep breaths, taking these micro adjustments with each breath.
Good job. Now bend your left knee, walk your hands forward, lift your back knee up off the mat, then spin your back heel down for warrior two. Rise up, get strong. Even though your whole body is engaged, left knee tracking open, lower belly pulling in, arms extending front and back, there's still a sense of calm within this warrior. And that calm starts with your breath. Setting up extended side angle, left forearm to your left thigh, reach your right arm up. Engage your core so that there's a lightness in your left arm. And keep your chest spiraling open, shoulders open the whole time. Now reach your right arm overhead and take a couple deep breaths into your right side body. Using your strong core, slowly rise, reverse triangle. Straighten out your left leg, reach your left arm overhead, big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to the mat and step your right foot forward for one more halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold and step your feet back, lowering down into a tabletop on your hands and knees. For puppy dog pose, walk your hands forward, but keep your hips above your knees. Melt your chest down towards the mat, eventually resting either your forehead on the mat or your chin on the mat. And send your smooth, calm, and deep breath into your chest, shoulders, and upper back. We'll be here for about three more of those breaths. Then take your time as you slide your hips back and make your way into child's pose. Walk your hands back, take your hips to your heels, for a traditional child's, take your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Allow your shoulders to roll open and appreciate any and all sensation as the blood flows down into your arms, cooling into the warmth of your palms. Namaste.